Yeah, yeah Carla bought a Stuckman meat and uh, bought her at uh, 6.09 p.m. on Monday, January 29th. Uh, the first agenda on, uh, item on the agenda is the minutes from Monday, January 29th, uh, 2018. Did you get a chance to look at those, Bob? I looked at them. They look good. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve them. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next item is warrant, vendor warrant for $37,274.07. Payroll warrant for $102,039.49. A payroll deduction warrant for $25,162.41. And a student activity fund for $3,000. $739.67. I'll make a motion we approve all the warrants. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We pass. Meetings attended by the Sutton. None for me. No, I didn't I do any either. Better. That was easy. It was a quiet week. Yeah, it was lovely. Okay, any citizens' concerns? I guess not. I don't see any. All business. Annual town meeting warrant. Review and discussion of the draft. Uh, there is very little to report on this now, and unfortunately you didn't get the um, version that has two slight changes. One is that the ambulance Lucas CPR compression So that's not in this? That's not in no. here? Uh, it, it's there, but it went up to $17,000. Oh, okay. okay. And there is a new Article 14 to put $20,000 into the ambulance stabilization fund. Is that a 10? Um, oh, that's not. So, would you move 14, 15, 14 up to 15 that we got? Oh, uh, is uh, yeah, 14 is post employment benefits. Yeah, that's so. So, in, in between okay. uh, that one and that okay. one, I've stuck uh, 20,000 for the ambulance stabilization fund. Now, that'll come from the ambulance receipts. So, in all of these, I'm going to bump up one. Yeah, yeah, uh, and the uh. I did a lot of research and worked with Gemma, uh, and the money for the Lucas unit um, can also come from their stabilization fund. Oh, beautiful. Uh, oh, we good. think that there will be enough money in there when it comes time to buy a new ambulance for them to buy a new ambulance. Great. And the original Warren article was broad enough so that they can buy any kind of equipment, yes. not yes. just a new ambulance. Great. So that's all for that. That's all for that? Okay. Right. Next item on the agenda is a set minimum dollar amount for the considering, considering items of for capital planning. There may be a split on the board. You may wait, want to wait. Um, Took that till yeah. next week. Well, well uh -huh. let's talk about it. I, I think that we should talk about it in the capital, in the capital committee first. Did oh, you guys talk uh, about it? Yeah, you did. You yeah. voted on it, I heard. We yeah. did, and we voted on it, but you've got a bunch of new data looking at Pelham and looking at Hadley and... Well, that, that's, and that's not really new data. The no. capital people had that data. But okay, so what do you want to talk about? I don't know. You, you, mean you, you people discussed it at your meeting. We did, and I mean, we're talking about the $5,000 yeah. being the limit that we're going to do, and you, you want to rethink it to be 10000 And you, uh, the board voted to approve that? Uh, recommended the five thousand. We recommended the five thousand, and then so we adopted that. Okay. Um, so there was some disagreement on the committee. It, it, yes. That, yeah. But I but I think before the we take and change what we did, we ought to have we ought to have the board talk about it. The committee, rather, the committee ought to talk discuss it. <clears throat> Even though you voted, you want to discuss it though, your committee. Sure. Well. Uh, yes, I do. But I mean, you're 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 also proposing we sort of change the the way the committee works and some of the rules that the committee is going to follow. That's not going to do that one. Then I don't understand what we're this talking about. This one is strictly the five thousand dollar item for uh, just capital expenses for for planning for planning. You know, right. What, so I thought we approved it last week. No, we were going to bring it up for discussion. Oh, this okay. Week. This was the week that it was going to be. I, I, I see. I, see I understand just, John wants to look at it at ten thousand, but I want to keep it at five. And and the board, the, the board, the committee said five. So I would say let's keep it at five. Okay. Um, 
So we might but, but I but I but I think if the committee is going to look at the way they operate overall, oh, I think you should. then then we should rethink this and we should do that at the committee level before we before we come back to the board. Right. I would think yeah. Right so we can officially vote for it, I guess, if we got two thirds. Can we or not? Uh, you can do whatever you like with it. <laughs> I'll make a motion we approve the $5,000 figure for capital. So I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Tom, you seem nervous about it. Or no, I, I, I would strongly argue for $10,000, but that's not where you went. So I understand. That's, that's fine. And I would argue for twenty thousand. <laughs> right in Pelham, Hadley has twenty-five thousand. I understand. We're a little community. That's where I'm it, It's a question of everything the capital planning committee is going to plan for, and it, it it's a planning question. So that means that all of those items that are on your thing now, many of which are very big ticket items. Um, are you going to have to add to that with whatever? So what the board said was, let's try. What the committee said was, yeah. let's try it at five thousand and see if it works. And, okay. And if we end up having way too many individual items, we need to. Well, it, it's take, a, it's a question of the the. You know, the operating versus the capital expense budget, and and what comes out of capital expense. Um, so these are mostly for one-time purchases, correct? There, well, we uh, the committee could also have considered. Uh, I think there is a, a five-year minimum now mm -hmm. in that policy as well, so that if if you buy another one within five years, uh, that that would also that that's another criterion mm -hmm. um, that would be included. All right. Next item. Preparation for the 32B process. Yes. Mom, you want to talk about that? Um, did you get something in your packets about it? That was I don't see anything. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't 32B process is health insurance? Yes. Uh, and no, I don't. There's uh, procedures for changing health insurance benefits for municipal employees. Nope. No, oh, there it is. I got it. I got it. Sorry. I got it. I missed it. What's it, what's it going to look like? It's yeah. a single page. Mm -hmm. It's buried in months through some of the ones. Single page it's there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, what this said, and this was prepared by town council to make sure we get everything right. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the town has to evaluate its health insurance coverage and determine the savings that might be realized after the first 12 months of implementation of design changes. Well, we know that the Hampshire County Group Insurance Trust is going is um, going up a, a modest amount, but they're changing their plan to include more uh, higher levels of co-pays and for the first time a deduction on pharmaceuticals. So we looked at, uh, we asked Maya for their recommendation, right. and they would, um, they came in with a plan that said, okay, well, for the first year, we will match what you're getting from the Hampshire County Group Insurance Trust and actually make it a little bit less expensive for you, and you can keep the same plan that you have now. However, in the second year, uh, we would be. We would have to pay the uh, the average of the pool mm -hmm. that Maya is paying, and for the third year, we would pay the average of the pool adjusted by that twenty percent of whatever the town is doing. Either we're doing better or we're doing worse than the pool, so it could end up being significantly more expensive or significantly less expensive. It's a big unknown. Mm -hmm. So one of the. So let me just. So we we've done that. I just want to say. Yep. Uh, so, town must then notify its insurance advisory committee. Well, we don't have an insurance advisory right. committee, so council's in the process of setting that up. Um, but the estimated savings, we have provided all of the players with the two different plans and an analysis between them. Um, so then, 
we um, we need to form an insurance advisory committee consisting of eight members, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's something that um, this board is going to have to do soon. We have to approve the board. You have to form the. You have to appoint the insurance we advisory appoint. committee. Will we, will we be given recommendations for the position? Um, well, let's see. Actually, so the, the eight employees affected. Seven persons to be elected or appointed to the membership by organizations of the employees infected. Uh, affected. Sorry. So there's, um, and the retiree. We have the town retiree, um, yeah. uh, Linda Baker, yeah. mm -hmm. and so the organizations. There's town employees. Right. There's, uh, which isn't really an organization. So I'm going to have to get clarity on that. Uh, but there are the uh, school teachers union teachers. and the school's instructional assistance union. That also leaves other t uh, school employees out who would also be affected if they're full-time employees, but not teachers or instructional mm -hmm. assistants. Uh, so other than schools and Linda, who would that be? Who else gets insurance? Say that again. Other than school employees and Linda, who's a retiree. Oh, okay. uh, so who all are the town employees? Town employees is the highway department. Yeah. Uh, police department. With the head, uh, I don't know if Kenny gets health or not. Probably doesn't. But Cindy cares for him. But they offer it to him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so he would. He would yeah. Everybody. I mean, these uh, people, and and not not. Um, I mean, you time look people, for one people person people from the police department and one person from the fire department. And well, we, the thing is, I, I have to clarify what it means. Organizations of the employees affected. Normally, that means unions, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of other employees. So I've got to clarify with council what okay. that means. Okay. Um, so they make recommendations. Um. So within those groups, and, and, and they have an elections? insurance advisory committee. Then we need a public employee committee, <laughs> which is the collective bargaining units and the retiree representative. Uh, so sound, we have that. Sound like we got a big city. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, or yeah, big unions. So, so we know the collective bargaining units and the retiree representative. Um, so you don't need to vote on this, is just to enlighten us now, you got to look up more information. This is what the process is going to be, mm -hmm. okay. and I just want to impress on you that it is fairly complex and bureaucratically mm -hmm. heavy. Um, so there's a, here's the notice um, to people and the anticipated savings, mm -hmm. and then there's an, an initial meeting, either the selectmen or the public employee committee may convene an initial meeting to discuss the proposed changes upon seven days notice. Subsequent meetings may be convey, uh, convened on not less than three days notice. That's after the first one. So, and uh, then here's how the public employees committee. Could votes. they be the same committee f for Conway? I mean, could the same group of people serve as both? Uh, there may be, there may be some cross membership. I would say. Yeah, it has to be. small membership. Right. I mean, if Linda's on both of them, and so it, here's here's the real kicker. Once we start this process, the town and the public employee committee shall have not more than. 30 days to negotiate all aspects of the proposal. Oh. If no agreement is reached within 30 days, the matter is submitted to the Municipal Health Insurance Review Panel. That's a state, state panel. organization. Um, you don't have much time today. So we have to get to an agreement within 30 days, and so there's the possibility of seven days notice, and then out of the, <clears throat> the rest of the say, when does this um, whole clock start ticking, Tom? Uh, it it starts uh, when either the selectman or the public employee committee convenes an initial meeting. Do we have? Do we have a public employee committee? We don't, do we? Yet? 
No, no, we don't have we don't either, either of them. An insurance advisory committee or a public employee committee. So we'll have to get after that pretty fairly soon, right? Well, yes. When are they going to try to make their changes? When do they recommend they change it? Uh, this fiscal year or next fiscal year? Oh, we're all set to go. We're we're we've got all the data we need. Okay. All we have to do is get people together to talk about it. Okay. But once we do, we have to be really ready to move. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to suggest that we not do it till after we're finished voting on the on the budget. Budget and and Good maybe idea. the warrant. So mid March okay. would be the earliest we want to start it, yeah. and then we'd be done by mid April. Right. I would think that's a big um, idea. And that's and that's. But fine. we need to put a call into like the school that we need. Council is taking care of all of that for us. Great. So yes, but we have to get their consent, we have to get their written consent to notify them by email. There, there's, there's, there's more levels of uh -huh, bureaucracy uh -huh. than are actually than even yeah. presented here. So yeah. um, I just wanted to give this briefing so that you know that this very clunky process with lots and lots of meetings within a month okay. is going to take place. Now you keep saying council, you mean town council? Yes. Okay. Okay. Any more discussion, Bob? No. <laughs> no it's okay. Next item: uh, Grant Town Administrator authority to sign state contract for the MOD grant. So we got that. Yeah. The um, that right they filled out the paperwork so that uh, I my name's on it. Mm. So this is the grant that we got to uh, redo the bathroom here in the town hall. Okay. Okay, I'll make a motion that we uh, approve Tom to be the uh, assign, uh, administrative authority on the contract. In the second. All in favor? Aye. Thank Ooh. you. Thank okay. you, Tom. <laughs> I'd like seeing your name on that. That's easy. Okay, new business audits for the town and the county grammar school. Okay. Well, we've gotten uh, from uh, Roselli Clark and Associates mm -hmm. the um, the proposal, and remember I said last time uh, that that they were going to raise their price. Mm -hmm. Well, they raised it more than I thought they were going to raise it. Uh, last time we paid thirteen thousand dollars, and they're making a proposal that uh, for the first year of a proposed three biennial years process uh we pay sixteen five that was in here yeah and then for the second two years we would just pay fifteen thousand a year in addition to that sixteen five there's an end of year audit for the school that we have to do periodically <clears throat> and that's twenty five hundred dollars that's the same deal they gave us before so that's it's it's much less uh, intensive with the paperwork. And have we contacted other other companies to give us a price quote? We have not. And what's your reason for that? And I, um, based on the price, I am. Uh, I, I'm very much in line with uh, that. We should that we ought to do that. Um, we have used these people for a while. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it's also good to use different auditors every mm -hmm. few years. We should have um, no more than than um, I would say seven years that we use the same auditor, and we're we're getting we're getting pretty close to that now. I'm not sure this would be within that seven year process, um, and. Uh, I know that uh, there are at least two auditors who we could also ask for. Uh, now, the first time they come in, again, they may charge more, so we should ask them for the same, well, the look same at, kind of yeah. uh, proposal that this would be for one year and then in this, two this years. Is for, uh, yeah, for three proposals over six years. Yes. I'd like to see a couple more quotes for you. Yeah. Yeah, I am more I'll, than happy. I'll make a motion then, that we have Tom get two, at least two more quotes. Okay. For this, for this. Well, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll 
Seek seek more, two more exactly. quotes. All in favor? Right. Aye. I'll, I'll seek two more seek quotes. Good. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's it. They, they right. may yeah. maybe not. They may tell you I'll fly a kite. Are there, are there people that we've used before that are familiar with the town? No. no. Uh, and, and, and at this right. point, our finances are much different than they were when we took yeah. Roselli Clerk yeah. and, and on. Um, I had a, a really good experience with the son of the person that uh, some people might not have had a great experience with, uh, Scanlon. Oh, Tom, Tom Scanlon, yeah, yeah. the son, did a great job up in Northfield huh. um, and was relatively inexpensive. Uh, that said, Melanson Heath, um, mm -hmm. also around, and those are the two that I, I would mm -hmm. like to uh, see quotes from. Good idea. Okay, Cindy, uh, next item is for the joint meeting of the finance committee, which we're not here yet. Voices. So I would guess that we could, uh, Tom, you want to go ahead with your update, administrative update? I, I can't. Can you check to see if they're just waiting out there or, or uh, they may just be burning. Well, maybe, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know. Are they lurking or do they have forms? Do we have, usually we can hear them. So. Do we have any items not anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting? No. Did you know? Okay. Well, okay. Still waiting for one, possibly right. two. Okay, so I can, I'll, I'll go ahead with that. Town Administrator update. Get that out of the way. There. Stop the plate. A couple of items about the town meeting and the budget. Uh, the next Franklin Regional School District School Committee meeting is next Tuesday, the 13th at 6 in the library. They will be discussing the budget at that meeting. Uh, the next Conway Grammar School meeting, at which they will also be discussing the budget, though we have a, a, an initial budget mm -hmm. from them, is Thursday, February 15th at 6 at the Conway Grammar School. <laughs> so for those of you interested in going to budget meetings, those are the budget I meetings. I went to the budget meeting originally for grammar school. Yeah. It was very interesting. It really was. Uh, nothing was decided, like I said. So they're probably going to, I'm guessing the grammar school will make their recommendations to it. We have an FCAT board meeting on the Thursday. Yeah. Um, so f uh, more on town meeting. I got a phone call from a representative from the UCC uh, about the church uh, mm -hmm. tornado experience, who said that due to the town not allowing the first insurance, insurance check to be used by the church, we were recovering part of our lien. And because the town did not subsequently forgive any of the lien money to the church, they intend to introduce an article ensuring that the town posts the reimbursed money to the CPC account. I assured him that such a posting was going to happen, because it has to by state law. Right. Right. Um, and we, we have DOR confirmation mm -hmm. of that. Uh, and he said that if it happened by the time the warrant closed, he would not submit the petition, but that if it did not, he would submit the petition. What's, what's, we, we've been told by DOR we've got to put it back in the CPA funds. Yeah. What is the hold at this point? Not to do that right away. Um, I, the selectmen don't have to vote on that. No, they, no. It's just the treasurer, right? It's the treasurer's it, move. And it's uh, the accountants, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, and just, when does the warrant close? Oh, March. middle of March. Middle of so March. So he should I, get on the move of that. I, I, I don't see why that needn't happen. You just need to figure out what the percentage goes to both parts, right? We actually don't afford it to go into the CPA fund. We can okay. worry about that later. Okay. Um, I had thought that was the case. Mm -hmm. um, I would have thought so too. And it turns out it just, it just yeah. has to go into it. So. And then they worry about it? The, the CPA? Uh, no, uh, the accountant will figure that out in, okay. in his, you know, when he has time to do it. He's working on more important things right now. Mm. Um, Can you find out for us, for us from, from him when he thinks you'll be getting around to it? Just so we have an idea. Can you ask him? Uh, sure. Well, but you say we can just, we can... It, the money can be turned over to the CPA fund immediately. But that's his move, not ours. Yeah. I would just ask Tom if he could give us an idea what he thinks he'd be doing it. Okay. Um, for 
of committee news, the personnel committee met Wednesday evening after a long hiatus. There are a variety of amendments to the employee handbook that are being considered, many of which are based on changes in laws or regulations. In addition, they gave initial consideration to paying out vacation time, which was in the old version of personnel policies and for which we had an inquiry. That's um, paying out accrued vacation time. Um, uh, but there are, it looks like there are some issues with that. The uh, proposal for a planning board, conservation commission, ZBA, other clerk requested by both the planning board and uh, the conservation commission, which I think I mentioned to you earlier. Uh, overtime pay questions, job descriptions, developing a compensation plan, and developing a stipend policy and considering leave policies. So all those things are... You're going to be busy. Are, uh, are being so do they come to us ultimately with a proposal? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, all, any policies will be approved yeah. by the select mm -hmm. board. Um, the Energy Committee will be reporting on the Town Hall insulation project next week and may ask for a decision from the select board regarding declaring it finished. Uh, for department news, we have received an offer solicited by the town treasurer for audit services for 2018. We already went through that. Um, and th there were some issues about how and when it would be yep, funded. Yep. Uh, the Conway Grammar School is planning its 5K run for May 20th. Paulette Levchuk for the Conway Grammar Moves and Grooves Committee has asked if it would be all right to have some music during the event, either recorded or live, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. I told her I didn't think it would be a problem and that they could use the town hall for access to an outlet. I'd be happy to put this on your agenda if you think it needs your deliberation. Where would they be doing it? Here? Oh, here in the street? Or it would start in front of the office? library or something? It would be based at the town hall. Okay. Uh, I, can, I can clarify that and get back. Because uh, the, the place that they need the outlet is the town hall. Yeah, okay. So I'm figuring they're not going to use the outlet right. at the... Uh, oh, there's plenty of them out there. That's what yeah. I wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah. The status was there. So. Uh, <coughs> it's, a, it's a smaller event. And finally, the... So, uh, it doesn't sound like anything we need to vote on, though. No. Their, their use of it. No. No. Yeah. Uh, and finally, the Massachusetts Municipal Association will be holding its spring legislative breakfast meetings in March. The closest locations are Pittsfield on March 2nd, Gardner on March 9th, and Palmer on March 16th. Right, those are my updates. Great. Do you have any concerns with the second? No. No. Okay. How about mail? Do we have any mail? I didn't see any. That's the purple folder. Oh, okay. There's a proclamation there. Oh. Oh, that's a that's a Roselli thing. And that's the, oh, <laughs> there it is. We got this via the town clerk. Ginny uh, sent this to us. It's about some day in the in the relatively far future, so it's several months away, I think. Uh, just from the governor's office, came to us. So we're going to proclaim June tenth, two thousand eighteen, as Race Amnity Day. So that will be coming up in June. So it's it's just a day. That we don't normally raise. He just declared a day. For, just wants to let you know that. Proclamation put out. Must be going to have a bunch of different races probably around the Commonwealth that day. I think it's racial. Racial. Yeah, yeah not race. Day. Yeah. What's it say? Race. Oh, race. Oh, okay. yeah. Multicultural, multi-ethnic, yeah. multi-racial city. Great. So those other things are actually. Did not you happen to notice last? I mean, this is not part of the fucking budget, but last night the football game holiday, man. Last night football game holiday did a lot of publicity on everybody working together. I thought that was great. Oh, teamwork, yeah. Teamwork, yeah, I yeah. thought that was fantastic. Okay, I guess we're ready for them. Any announcements? Hey, Roy, you ready? Any announcements? No. 
I have no announcements. Okay, I guess we're just all set for the uh, joint meeting of the finance committee. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good evening, I mean. Good evening. I think we're going once. I'm not going to make an injury without How are you? Okay. Okay. Well, I know a little bit more about now about what I'm going to need as far as computer interaction for the changes, yeah. Yes. So that'll be good. We'll do it soon. Okay. Yes. I am. Hi. Are you representing the assessors? I am representing the assessors tonight, yes. Mr. Gentlemen, are ready? We'll start with you to report first. Okay. okay. And, um, sure. I don't know if you'd already received. I mean, oh. We have. Yeah, we have a little package. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We're good. Okay, good. Gee, and I just made coffee. Oh. <laughs> Turn them over. You don't. I know. That's down. right. We will. Um. Okay. The assessors are looking at a very busy year ahead um, with several extra projects that um, are going to impact on fiscal 19. However, we went ahead and prepared our budget process in the way that we have before, looking at each line individually and explaining, trying to explain out the impacts on each category. Um, one of the biggest impacting features this year is going to be the conversion in fiscal 19 to a new valuation system, which is uh, rather forced on us by the state discontinuing its support of our valuation program, which we'd had in place since 2003, and it has been wonderful. It has saved us many tens of thousands of dollars over the years to be with that program compared to the other products that we could have had. And we really hate to see it cut from the state budget, but there weren't enough communities subscribing to it for them to justify hanging on and continuing to do the updates and everything else. So what they did was establish a separate little a board called Mass IT to work on behalf of the towns that were still under this, uh, using this valuation program to go out and solicit um, replacements. <clears throat> they drew up the requirements, they went out to various vendors uh, with an RFP, they solicited and previewed all of the possible replacements. They chose two or three, and we chose to go with Tyler Technologies program. The state is also going to pay a large part of the conversion cost and the first year of our enrollment in the new program, which is a big savings to us. However, it's going to involve time here in, within each of the towns, you know, that are participating, time within our offices, and the state will not pick up local time on this. So the uh, conversion technically has already started with various um, inst instructional webinars, which will continue on a monthly basis from now until our major conversion starts in mid-August. And we will have six weeks of probably at least 40 hours a week while we have intensive training they come in, look at our data. They've already done that anyway, but uh, to see if we have anything very specific to Conway that ought to be considered. And they take away a copy of our data. They work on it, bring it back, reinstall it under the new program. And we run a number of reports to double check the comparability of the two values. They're saying that they should be coming out within two and a half percent of the values we send them, but we'd like to see that tighter. And so on and so forth. Um, it's going to take time. We're going to be running two screens and two programs for a while until we're sure that absolutely everything, including the photographs, the building permit data, the, uh, you know, drawings, mm -hmm. the, the floor plans, mm -hmm. everything has copied over correctly. So, 
that's going to have an impact uh, on next year. And you may recall that last year we had an article whereby we tucked away $2,500 toward it in the future. This year, based on what we now see as the more realistic expectations of ours here, we're going, we have asked for an article to be put in separate from our budget that would allow for another $6,000. We'd rather have plenty and be able to turn a little back with any luck. Um, we don't yet know, uh, I'll be finding out next week at a webinar with the Department of Revenue, when you change evaluation program completely <coughs> like this, you have to do a data review out and analysis. We don't know yet whether we'll be able to do that as a desktop or if we will have to go out, take cards, under the new program and the old program and go out and look at your house or your house or, or not Lisa's, she's out of town. <laughs> not my house. But <laughs> we could come. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> at any rate, so we don't know yet just what will be involved for time and perhaps even mileage there. So we're, we're working on it. So we had allowed for a few so will hours. Will that double your work? Huh? Will that double your work to have to deal with both, both cars? Well, both? It's going to stretch things out a little. Yeah. It really is. <coughs> yeah. Um, so we had allowed a little conversion time in here in addition to the the uh, article. So that's basically what the salary and the clerical line item increase are just for extra hours? Yes. Not No, there's no not extra percentage pay increase. No. Okay. That's at this that's year's hourly rate. Right. And it's, it's we didn't have too many over. hours there. Yeah. No. That's, oh, yeah. that's not the six thousand right. dollars. No, right. that's right. That's yeah. in addition. Yeah. Also. Um, yeah, that's that's on the warrant. That that'll be a a, a money okay. article on the warrant as opposed to this operating right. budget. Mm -hmm. And I have hopes that once again we'll be able to release money from overlay that may be available to cover that as well as other things. Uh, I was talking with Mike about that, the town accountant, the other day, and we're going to get together next month to go over the overlay and see where we stand. By then, we'll have finished all of the uh, fiscal 17 abatements and exemptions, and so we'll know where we are there. The um, one good thing about this conversion, as I say, is that the state is picking up next year's cost to us, and so our cost of software support is dropping from $3,700 down to $750 for one year. But that'll go back up. <laughs> that would go back up again, but they have also, the state has also negotiated the 2020 cost for us and the two years following that. Mm, okay. So we have a good predictable situation there, and it will not be increasing substantially in those mm. two years, up to 2022. And so that's a help too. <laughs> that really is. Um, tax map maintenance has gone up a little bit. That's simply uh, the cost of doing the, the volume of business that we do with Carter Graphic in maintaining and updating our maps. Uh, everything else has stayed just, just exactly about this. Ah, stipends. It's under salary here, and that is the three assessors' annual stipends. In the past um, 10 eight to 10 years, we've each received $1,400 a year, which is in recognition of the meetings, the classes that we attend, going out for new growth visits, all that type of thing. And so we have requested that that go up to $1,600 per person per year. So an increase from 42 to 4,800 a year for the total of the three stipends combined, should you see, see fit. Um, other things that we have going on in the office are the preparation for the 2020 census, but that will be mostly in this fiscal year, and that was unanticipated, uh, but I think we'll be okay with ours for that. Um, and they send out preliminary materials to identify, to, to, to review all the material that they have, to double check it and to identify all of the residential dwelling units in town. No listings of anyone. There's nothing like that. But it's simply so that when the time comes in 2020 for the census itself, 
they have a complete and accurate list of every dwelling unit. So they'll know where to go. So they know where to go, and that's done ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you know, and we then we keep up with it in that little 18-month or two-year period. That should be coming out any time in the next two months. And then we have a 120-day period in which to deal with that. But uh, we just had a webinar recently. We don't really have a handle on how many hours that will take in-house until we uh, until they send more of the materials out. And once it comes out, there's a 120-day window in which it must be completed. So it should be done before fiscal 19, I think, which will be good. Yeah. Um, <coughs> every town is being presented with that mm. process. The, um, oh, the other effort that we have underway is to apply for a grant through the uh, Community Compact IT program. Now, a while back, the I believe the selectmen signed on to the Community Compact yep. Best Practices, and another part of that overall program is to offer grants for IT improvements in, in towns. And Conway had not applied for that before, so we're eligible to this year. They're giving grants of up to $200,000 to communities that um, uh -huh. present programs involved, and we've worked up a program uh, and a list of uh, ways that we would like to improve and enhance our GIS capabilities and usage in town. And here we go. You haven't seen this one yet. Here we go. Sure. If you look at the bottom left, you'll see a figure that says IT grant, and you'll see another, the, beside, the one that says budget. The figures above IT grant are the figures that we will, we, the range in which we'll be requesting a grant, uh, depending on exact final answers from our mapping people. But what this would do, they will pay for new programs to be installed. They will not pay for training in them. They will not pay for the ongoing use of them, but they will pay the upfront costs of getting new programs, new equipment into a community. And so what we've done is to talk to our people and find out what's involved in doing more in-house. We have some capabilities, but the um, larger programs are expensive and we haven't been able to do them in the past. So we looked into that. Uh, a part of it also, for me, is to get two or three other people trained and start having them do a lot of the work. This will uh, have things done more in a more timely fashion and will also, of course, have continuity there. And it's wise with something like this to have other people able to do it as well. You'll see there on that list some of the types of projects we'd be able to do with these programs. One factor that comes into the budget process is that the ongoing annual fees for using these programs come to $6,400 a year. That's what's in the column two there. And so we would like to apply for the grant. If we receive it, the grant has to be implemented by the end of June of this year, which is terrific. We can have that done, but then to actually start to use it in-house, we would need that $6,400 in budget money available for the training, for the work that they would do to build the layers, that type of thing. And that's not included in the grant? That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. A question. Yeah. <clears throat> this, uh, but this grant is not specific to assessors. It's to a town. To That's correct. We want. That's so, correct. Different towns are doing all kinds of different IT things with it. 
So do we have other departments that are going to that want to participate? Well, most uh, we've made inquiries with all of the various departments. We've had very good feedback from zoning, highway, uh, or I should say planning board, highway, um, uh, open space, open space, yes, um, historical commission. You know, we have a number of people interested in using this type of information that we've added here on the list. But, but that's not what we're always asking. Right? Well, I mean, I like planning. Yep. Do they, maybe they have their own project as well. What I'm trying to sure. say is Absolutely. that once you, what's the expression? Mm -hmm. go, go for the. Right, if yeah, we I mean, get it. Once you go for yes. this yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these are minutes. These are the types of the things that we had yeah. talked about with them. And they may have others equally well. The, the list of, uh, for example, possible layers is something of the shopping list. It can be changed. It's ideas that we had come up with initially. And if we receive the grant, as far as actual implementation, if they want something rather than something else, fine. We can use the money with, within the but, various but under the IT grant, could a different department apply for their own IT yeah. money? For, for, for example, I know Jan and Lynn both work with an archaic program, the CSC program. It's archaic. Oh, they're, they're working out of that this year. They're going over to uh, a new program. Now, did that require a grant or because there's, you see. I don't know how they're based on that. That's a community software consortium grant. Yes, we do have that. Program. So that's coming under the same state because grant that's helping us. There's, you know, it's the cost migrating from one to the other mm -hmm. is, is usually an onerous cost. It's, the mm -hmm. state is picking well, up the big one on, on, uh, on assessing. We already have the system. This is adding capacity to it. Right. Okay. And it's not converting. No, this is adding capacity to our existing GIS this, this GPS is, system. Yes. Right, but the Tyler is different. That's, that is that's, different. That's, that's a new yeah. replacement program. Correct. Yeah. This is a totally different subject right. than anything yet. I understand. <laughs> so my, I guess my question is, will there be others that we're not aware of yet? Similar. This year, you mean? Yeah. 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 We haven't heard of any. Okay. We developed this project. Right. We are. We want to apply for the grant for it. For it. Right. So, it's not something that that was out there that we said. You know that there are you know multiple versions of. Right. There's that. There's the grant that was available mm -hmm. and. Lee and I have been working on this. Right, yeah. but it wasn't specific to assessors, it, it, it was general IT. That's correct. Right? I mean, we have other data issues in the town that we've kind of, um, you know, trying try to work off of one set of data. Well, this isn't Global. just, just mm -hmm. assessors. I mean, she's going to be helping other departments. Yes, but... With, but uh, no, you're right. I understand. I see what you mean, yeah. But you're wondering, like, does Kenny need <laughs> IT improvements? In other words, or, should the 6400 be spent somewhere else? Not somewhere else. No. Is there more, is there an additional grant that we can apply ah. for? Yeah. Um, you I don't... I am not convinced that we can't include the initial 6400 if it includes training in the grant. Most of the 6400 is for cartographic to build layers that we would then keep populated. Right, but for the first year. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that we have included in this, which is very um, specific to a number of our, our core departments, is a staff access to full information that's included in our, our evaluation program. If you go on our GIS system right now, you will not see the owner's name or contact information. Mm -hmm. And that has been very deliberate to maintain some sort of privacy for folks. Um, although that information is public <coughs> record, we make it available here at the office on request, rather than just handing, you know, spreading it out there. Oh, anyone could look at it. Um, however, for $950 one-time charge, we can choose a number of people. For example, our emergency responders, fire, ambulance, EMD, police, and any other 
specific town officials who might have need of that, who can then go on through a secure access and see that mm -hmm. type of information. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one way it's going to help other departments. They, Any, they can see house plans. Yep. Oh, I, this is all great. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the, the, the 6400 is, is ultimately going to be an operating expense. Yes, I, right. yeah. 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 That yeah. Either. So, I don't so know. So grant, grants won't cover operating expenses. I don't know that there are other IT grants out there. Yeah. Any other department could have well, written their own request is, for this. Could we? They don't want multiple applications from the town. You're applying for a grant. And so I wonder if we could think, I don't know, what the, what's the deadline for the grant? February 15th. Is, 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 wow. there merit, is there merit to thinking about broadening this grant to cover, for example, I, I think this, I'm not sure if this predates you, Tom, or not, but if you remember, I mean, as it is now, there's, you know, Bob Armstrong's name may be spelled one way in this application, and oh. it might be spelled in slightly different over here. And trying to, and that results in either a bunch of manual yes. work that happens, yeah. or, um, or inconsistency, or even errors uh, in some of the programs. And so, it, it's a project, and you know, off the top of my head, you know, I, I don't know what this project, but it, it would be a different project a different, from this yes. because of the structural problems between the programs that are holding that information now, is how I understand it. No, it doesn't predate me. I know I know what you're talking okay. about now. Okay. But yeah, this is not a project to solve that problem. They don't talk to each other. You know, that's the summation of what I've been talking about. It was just one example. This will hold the data that the assessor yes. But as far as... Would would other if someone wanted to come up with that particular project, they still could apply on a separate grant? Yes. The grant isn't Yeah, but yes, theoretically. Yeah. Yeah. Or an different SDR. project. Different project. Mm -hmm. But one week to put it together, basically. Mm -hmm. I think this is great. Yeah. Well So why is there such a big minimum and maximum? Well, if you look at um let's see. Part way up, some of the figures are a little shaded. There are three five thousand dollars is yep, there. Yep. Those are still estimates. I see. And there are three five hundred dollars is there that are still estimates. Yeah, it's a guess guesstimate. Right. Yeah. And they will be tracked down more tightly based on what information we're able to send them. For example, the permitized information uh, has to do with our building permits and is generated through a program that a number of communities use and the fellow whom we work with at cartographic is right now talking with permit eyes in response to Roe and great barrington so he's getting the information but he doesn't have the absolute answers yet mm -hmm. so the five thousand is a generous yeah. estimate depends on how many exactly <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. How, how likely is it getting this grant is it competitive or is it it um don't know I don't know this. They don't give you a great deal of information about that. Let me give you <laughs> heartbeat. I mean, up, up to now, these grants, these IT grants have been, every time I've seen them in the paper, it's mostly to upgrade computers and networks yep. and all that stuff. They can be for, <coughs> they're, they're pretty amazing about it. Uh, we did send information around to the, all the different departments that. Uh, and, and this is upgrading our, one aspect of our computer system. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There, this is an FAQ on the IT grants. And this is a further explanation of the different parts that we would be adding. Yep. Cool, great. Yeah. But, but I, I have a, uh, I want to just backtrack for a minute. <laughs> this little, this aspect of running two systems side by, I, I'm, I'm confused as to why there might be as much as a two and a half percent difference between the two systems because that's greater than any rounding error. Yes. And so I wonder if the systems are different even in terms of uh, logic or the reference tables that they're reference going tables. off of. So they, the Commonwealth has updated these tables or? The different vendors. Oh, vendors. 
Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Update the tables. I see. And so we're going to have slight discrepancies amongst the cost tables. Because this, to me, is going to cause more well, time than you think. Well, this is why we're <laughs> going. This is why we want to have time. This year's tax bills that are coming out in September will be based entirely on the old program. Yeah. So there'll be no delay there. Yeah. Uh, we want time and, and to you win and won't be using the new system yet. Well, maybe, so, maybe. for comparison. O only for comparison. Um, we also, you know, we'll know also after this next webinar whether we'll have to have an open house or an impact notice sent out to people. This type of thing. We'll know more about it, but. We're going to use it to compare, you know, your house to your house. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And see if there's one change we can make in the cost tables that's going to solve a number of two-story colonial houses and bring them all in a little tighter. Things like this, because we would like to be much tighter than 2.5%. Mm -hmm. That's our, certainly our intention. I would, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, it's... It's going to take work. <laughs> yeah. uh, get, getting back to the grant for, for, for just one second. Um, as you may have heard, we're not entirely sure whether the first year's operating expenses can be charged to the grant. Mm -hmm. um, my thinking is they probably, the training may be able to be charged to the grant. Training, yes. Um, mm -hmm. But other aspects, no. So there may also be um, either an item in the assessor's budget, which is probably the best place to put it. I didn't know where to put it. Okay, so so yeah. the assessor's budget that you have I did not you, put it in the budget as presented. Un under um, <laughs> software support um, would, would rise again um, based on how much was not able to be paid for by the grant. Mm -hmm. On the off chance that none of it could be paid by the grant, it would rise six thousand four hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and then that that would that amount would stay there in perpetuity as we absorb the capacity of all of these tools that we're going to get that all of the departments are going to be able to use. Mm -hmm. It was based in fiscal year two thousand eighteen. The budget would be sixty. Five hundred dollars for taxi, not thirty-seven hundred dollars. We're talking about an increase of, of twenty hundred dollars. Is that it? <clears throat> Two thousand eight hundred dollars net increase. If you look at fiscal year two thousand eighteen as our uh, mm -hmm. baseline. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I I had not put that in here yet, well, not you know knowing if it was going to go there or into an IT budget as as an expanding, an effort that's expanding beyond the assessors, but it still will be based on assessor's data, but it will be uh, expanding out to more departments. I don't know if that bears discussion or just decision. Oh, yeah. you, you probably won't have the answer back whether you've got the grant or not before we have to go to print for a town meeting, right? That's correct. And so if we have, have received to, it... You're going to have to adjust us up somehow. Yeah. 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 And if, um, you know, if we have received it uh, by then or if we know that we are not receiving it this mm -hmm. year. Then we simply make the adjustment on town meeting floor, yeah, and is, accordingly. Is there a way, well, I don't know, your, your copier, mm -hmm. uh, scan, that's fairly new in here, right? Oh, yes. Well, I think the one over there is not so new. Is there a way that um, when that's used over there to be part of this, does it warrant an upgrade that could be part of this grant? I don't know. No, just the floor. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's where I assume you're thinking about the $200,000. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. No, yeah. I, um, look, that might be for a large city. Okay. Well, yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. So but we're only at about 50000 So <laughs> Right. Well, that's not the, the point is, that thing is ancient by today's standard. <laughs> uh, but it's not the first one I've worked in out in the field that's ancient. They made good machines and they lasted a long time. Yeah. Um, However, what do they got? It's capital needs, one it time capital on needs. The, yeah, the, sure. Know, it's, it's, an, it's an eligible cost if it, if we can 
uh, make a case that it's that it's necessary for for this. It, and you know, as you say, um, upgrades are typically on a three-year schedule for hardware. Well, except print. You know, big printers like this. They, I think. Yeah, I, I really don't know, to be honest. Small printers, yes, they're throwaway after three years. Uh, can you uh, get us a price? On an upgraded type thing over there that'll scan to email and, and I'm even thinking that makes some, good sense because the, uh, your your office, that office would be using Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're not working on it, but the this, size yeah. of the. Uh, why don't Why don't you get together with, with okay. her and come up with an uh, estimated cost of it mm. and see if they, it can fit into the grant? Mm. Yeah, we can certainly extend the grant. It's worth a try. Okay. Good sure. Thank you. Yeah. There's also yeah. um, there's a couple of firewall upgrades that we should have, with or without this grant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely one over here. Doesn't exist here at the moment. And even in there. Great. Um, and that would allow more secure. It is, I just noticed there's this, this cloud. Is that part and of it as well? I, I think this, we might be able to work that in if we said, because we're planning to have different levels of security on the network. Yes. Um, on, on the uh, on the system. All right, on the data. Yeah. Um, we need to upgrade our security. Yes. That, but that's that that's the kind of argument we'll have to make. That so, does make sense. So we do well, need to. It, it's whatever you know. It has to be a co. You want it to be a coherent whole, basically. Mm-hmm. And uh, I wonder. And I had been probably thinking in terms of what we could do with, you know, more or less what we have, as opposed to. Grading the entire. Of course. That, yes. Right. That makes great sense to well. me. So can you get that to leave by Thursday? If I can. Yeah, sure. We can. We can. We can yeah. uh, I, I okay. need to hear more of what. I, I I'll need to go through this with. <laughs> so, um, but I'll, we can we can talk tomorrow. We and can, I can so. do more thinking in that direction too. Yes, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking uh, scanners particularly. I don't know if you have to you have an issue scanning larger size documents for anything even now. We can do it on this, but not on the other one. Okay. I don't. Well, I don't know if you can scan. Big, you, can you scan over there? On that one. I can scan, but I've never tried to do any ledger size. Anything. Uh huh. I don't know if Tom has. Yeah. I've only done. Okay. Well, we, we, we can go through it together. Yeah, let's. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know, when are you next in, in the office? I'm not here tomorrow. I'll be here Wednesday, late Thursday, and probably most of Friday. Okay. Friday well, afternoon, anyway. Okay, so can yeah. we talk tomorrow and set up set up a, t a time? I can't do it tomorrow. Well, yeah, let's talk to mail or something, yes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That, okay. that would be great. Okay, great. Any other questions for Lee? <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Lee. Yeah. Hate you with a lot, but that's the things hey, are going hey, right yeah. now. That's great. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay, the next one is I guess the Board of Health one, right? Except um we do a miscommunication. They'll be coming in next week instead of this week. Uh, yeah. oh, okay. Okay. All right, so we want to move on to the council on aging. Do you think you're gonna need the oh, no okay. oh, okay. now close up in here? Uh <laughs> Well, the, the others, uh, Council on Aging and, uh, is um, level funded. Actually, it was supposed to be, the last year's budget was, uh, oh. we put in something that, that uh, should have come from another another oh. fund that I just found out about. So they're, they're level funded. Okay. Uh, Veteran Services is uh, going up very slightly based on uh, a, uh, an invoice that we've gotten for, for next year from the okay. district. And now comes the big one. <laughs> now we get the axe out. No. <laughs> Tom's Tom administrator question. All right. Um, yeah, this should be a town administrator and uh, legal and IT. All right. 
Um, uh, salary is a contract rise. Um, the hourly is uh, level funded. Um, mileage is going up substantially both uh, because uh, my assistant is also having some professional development and this is getting a little bit closer to what I actually spent. So right. it's always um, we're getting overspent. We're yeah. getting a, a little bit closer. Um, uh, you can see expended <laughs> last year was uh, considerably more than the, or in 17 was considerably more than this budgeted. So even, even so, I, I only brought it up a little bit, but now with my assistant in there, I'll put, bring it up a little bit more. Postage is, is level funded. Um, dues and conferences is up substantially uh, because, as I as I write uh, in the uh, middle of the third paragraph of text, um, I need to be updated on procurement stuff. Uh, it's been five years since I've had training. There's been a lot of changes in the law since then. There was municipal modernization, and there were other changes too. So there are three three-day courses. They give them out in Huntington in the video conference it's not too far. center. Yeah, I don't have to go into Boston. They're, so they're, they're done in Boston and video conferenced mm -hmm. in, uh, in Huntington. So those are, uh, those are pretty uh, expensive courses, unfortunately. Um, then uh, telephone, I've, I've switched to the IT budget because IT and telephone are now since the telephone is done over the internet, um, most towns are now doing IT and telephone. Are we going to? We're way. going to. We talked about this before on telephones. Are we going to try to merge all the phone town phones together? Yes. I Under to. one one account, one payroll account. You mean? Well, you, for example, the auxiliary. We we right now that has a Verizon line, right? Yes. But that really should be eliminated and just a, an extension put into place. So you're an extension on the system. I mean, like, mm -hmm. like the fire department has the Verizon account, they have a cell phone account. Right. Well, cell phone's a different story. Well, it's still a phone, it's phone cost. Well, okay, but I don't know where you want to put that. But in terms of the central phones that are here and in the town offices, there's no, you know, there's... I mean, on, on the trying to uh, decrease your bookkeeping accounting, I would think you'd try to get everything into sync and... and well, right now, there's just one phone bill that I issue, that, or that my company mm -hmm. issues um, to to the town, and... But the fireman's auxiliary is a different bill, so that would be rolled right. into your bill. It's however you want it. If you want a separate bill, I can do it separately or come into my bill. There's no change in the bill. I mean, You're right. getting it for free. Right. There, right. There'd be no change in, in cost. Right. Just merging everything into one location. Right. Well, it'd be easy. I think what he's saying is it's easy to get the Verizon one switch. Mm -hmm. And I think you just need to, to uh, communicate with each other about because that. Because I have to be able to get in there and spend some time working in there. Mm -hmm. that's, that's all. So it should be done sooner rather than later, if you want. And, and yeah, we, it, it's, it's, it would be fine to move the, uh, the cell phone in, into, into the 159 budget. You mean where you put, where you put yeah. the cell phone? Yeah, it does, this is doesn't good. really matter where it, where it goes. I would think, it's, to me, I mean, all phone expenses should be in one call for the time. But, you know, if it, is it, yeah, I don't have. I don't really. I, mean, have I can do it myself. very easily scratch that off my budget and just add it to this one. It isn't across the town anymore. Yeah, Ship, you might have to explain it to the taxpayers mm -hmm. when you see some something like that. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, just just give me your annual cost and I'll I'll put it into this one. Okay. Easily done. And yeah, just talk to Roy about the getting the Verizon over to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, to we the, can keep the, the same number, number you have. And it can still be an extension on the system. Um, copier, um, bringing it down to seven hundred. I don't. I don't think they're going to go higher than uh, than six seventy seven this year. Um, 
Uh, advertising, I tried to bring it down to 300. We spent 439. The thing is, when I put together the budget, I don't have the full figures for what we're spending this year. Sure. So we act, there are actual for 2017 is 439. So I brought that up to 500. Um, the town report again is based on the actual for FY17 42 20, figuring that's going to go up a little bit. Um, supplies. Um, they the the expense has been high fifty eight hundred forty six hundred thirty one hundred I we brought that down, um, but I'd be more comfortable with thirty five hundred than with three thousand there. I you know all of these things at the end of the year if if these line items aren't spent it doesn't really matter all that matters is the bottom line so we've been able to get away with it but I do want them to reflect reality. As much as possible. So, how come it dropped so much in 17? So, I'm making incremental changes. Sure. Sure. I wouldn't let anybody use any paper. Yeah, everybody <laughs> had to, like Bob said, everybody had to use them twice. You were hoarding the paper, of course. Yeah, uh -huh. get them all. I got some big ones. <laughs> then, uh, uh, professional technical service used to pay for internet consulting. Now that's all under IT, mm -hmm. so that's why that's dropped from thousands of dollars down yeah. to hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. But we do need occasional things done, um, so that's just uh, stuck in there. Um, the net, um, largely because the, the telephone went uh, a couple thousand dollars went to IT, but the, the net here only goes up um, uh, 17, 1600. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was all the dues from conferences. Yeah. <laughs> um, for legal, uh, from where I sit, it was in 2017, it was a little bit too close. And I know that the 2018 budget is also going to be relatively high, partly because of this 32B stuff, but I really don't want us to screw up with this because right. we really don't want it to be a bad process. I, I don't want I, I don't want that to be part of the discussion, you know, the process. So uh, I want that to be very, very clear. Uh, so that's what I'm recommending for uh, for next year. It, it's just been too close to the recently, and uh, I don't have anything particular in mind, but it's not something I think we should have to worry about if we need to. So anyway, that's that's the extra 2000 for that. Uh, we're beginning to get a good sense of the IT budget. <clears throat> it's uh, the third year. Um, there's the sort of general functioning, and then there's the security for it, uh, making sure that everything is, is the way it ought to be. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, all of our subscriptions are in here, uh, though there are some uh, software that is specific to various departments and is part of their budgets. This software subscription jump for 2000, is that was something new being added or that's just estimated costs going up? That's, we that's the telephone. Right, okay. That's where the telephone is okay. going. I get it. So we're, we're subscribing to a telephone service, this is how I'm um, thinking about that. Um, yeah, and that's the last paragraph yep. here. Yep. Um, and that is consistent with what other towns are doing. Okay. So those are those budgets. Okay. The 150 series. So I, I just would like to make a comment. Do we, for example, this this uh, grant we're applying for, it will, without doubt, impact IT and I, you know, the overall IT. And I wonder if we need to have something in here to accommodate some of that or all of that, unless it's built into the grant. I don't see, well, any of the upgrades are going to be completely within the assessor's office. 
What will be new for the other departments is access to that information mm -hmm. through a web portal. But you're talking about maybe adding a couple routers, new routers. Well, the, that, that I thought we could write into the grant when I get together, but I'm even thinking of, so that, yeah, we've so they've got to access the portal and there's going to be some potential issues there. I'll get calls. People want that to get straightened out. Uh, that should be written into the grant. Okay. So well, it's it's an, it, it's it's well, it wouldn't be affected if it wasn't a the grant. If that's right? true, it's it's an operating, it's yeah. an operating well, cost. Yeah, but it's a startup cost. You mean yes. Yes. you mean a contingency for a cost over like a conversion problem with extra labor? Is that what you're thinking of? Okay. No, I like because that can be handled by the by the people doing the conversion. If they you know if they don't get the conversion right. They no, no, I talked to Lee on that one. Put a, I would put in the grant. Put it in the grant. It's, it's, but that would only be for the first year, right? Yeah, because we, once once the system is set up and stable, right. it's it's not an issue. I thought uh -huh. she may have a line item in here already. For okay, well I'll, I don't know. I'll I'll see if she does yeah. when we get. To um, it's it's more in training, um, though, and it's the training in use, not so much the training in the in the guts of the system. So that. Um, we, you should probably be part of that as well in some, in some uh, sense. And while we're speaking, we really ought to be increasing the bandwidth to, to the town buildings. Because the bandwidth, this, that thing is probably going to increase our bandwidth to, to some extent. Right now, the bandwidth is not... Well, it's not fully adequate in the town offices over there at certain times. And, I mean, honestly... Well, so that should be in the IT budget anyway. Okay. So so we need to we need to fix that. Yes, need adjustment. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> we'll <laughs> talk. Okay. You swap short. Because uh, it's five up and five down, and that is not adequate by today's standard, even for the relatively small number of people that are there. The, the just the, just everyday usage has grown. The websites themselves, the portals themselves, they all want, and then there's all, you know, you want, you want to take some webinars or some training or something at the desk, and it's, it's woefully inadequate. I believe you may see a higher IT cost than I was able to provide you. <laughs> <laughs> but then we right. have to, we have to the finance committee supposed to be driving costs down. <laughs> yeah, well, well yeah, big, like, right. <laughs> it's not like we're increasing with the same right. level of service. You're right. increasing right. cost for oh. an increase. Good. That's why we have these meetings. Extra <laughs> stuff up. So, good to get the details. Right. Great. You guys, got any other questions? No. Not. I guess that's all our budgets for tonight. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you, Roy. And we're, uh, you're on again next week, right? Sorry, I don't mean to be a fan. We're on for budgets again next week? Yeah. Yes, and uh, that will include the Board of Health and the uh, report from the Capital Improvements Planning Committee. Yeah. Are we meeting these before then? I don't think so. I don't think we are. No. Are we? No, the Capital Improvements Bar. I thought there was something this week. Thursday? Thursday. Isn't there a Thursday meeting? There a meeting that I don't know about? That's what I wanted to check. There's, uh, a, there's, there's the school next. meeting. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's next week. week. Oh, that is next week. Yeah. Next week. 13th. I don't see it on the calendar. Oh, where the heck is this? We have one on the 21st. Of February? Yeah, yeah that's right. See, I see. Wow. So the capital improvements presentation, be suggestions for the new policy, is that covered all of you? This is just, uh, well, it's, it's just meant for recommendations to the select board, which they've already made, so right. it's kind of pro forma, and they might just decide to have Bob report for them, because it's but, just, okay. the, the recommendations yeah. have already been made. So no, there haven't been any additions since? No. since um, the one addition was going to be uh, a unit for the ambulance, 
an expensive unit for the ambulance, and we've decided that that can be paid out of the ambulance stabilization fund. Oh. It's a uh, it's a CPR robot. Well, you were here last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they heard this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's going to be seventeen instead of sixteen thousand. Uh, or that's that's what we want to say because we're not sure of prices or models or availability, that sort of thing. So. Okay. Great. Thank you. See you next week. Yes. Okay, any announcements, Tom? No. Nothing? Okay, next week meeting for next week is from Monday, February 12th. Okay. Here again, again in the town hall at 6 p.m. Yep. I hear no other business uh, to be brought to front of us today. I'll make a motion for you, Jim. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.